Yes, hello. Welcome to Mad Express TV, where we give you the updates about the transfers and how things are in the market. Currently, we want to talk about uh, the transfer of Mikhail Modric to Arsenal. Mikhail Modric uh, to Arsenal and uh, Joao Felix from Atletico de Madrid. As we speak now, Arsenal are looking more at sign uh, Joao Felix uh, on a short-term deal, uh, which is likely to go up to the end of this season, uh, which is around six months. Uh, but Atletico de Madrid are demanding in a region of around 10 million pounds uh, so that they cash in on that player and their commitment of around uh, 70 million pounds for Arsenal uh, to sign this player. Moving on to Mikhail Modric. Mikhail Modric, his situation is now complicated. The boy wants to join Arsenal uh, but his club which is Shakhtar Donetsk and the management are trying to create a situation where they can milk more money from Arsenal Football Club and also the possible uh, rivals to Arsenal Football Club, that is Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea held a meeting earlier, actually later this week, uh, with uh, the management of uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, but so far they haven't made any formal bid. However, Arsenal have made two bids, and the latest bid being £62 million, pounds, which is not officially rejected. I want to make it clear, uh, which is not yet officially rejected by Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, but Shakhtar uh, seem to be holding on to their £88 million pound valuation uh, for Mikhail Modric, the super talent. However, uh, Shakhtar now stuck in a way that uh, the player has made it clear to them that he wants to join Arsenal Football Club. Uh, we have seen that even in the past few weeks where he has been posting himself watching Arsenal games and heaping praise over Mikel Arteta. He is serious. He wants to join Arsenal. Though Chelsea, they may have the money, but the heart of the player is that he wants to join Arsenal Football Club. So uh, Shakhtar Donetsk is in a dilemma. They want more cash, but the player does not want to go anywhere else except Arsenal Football Club, which has made Arsenal fans very happy at the moment. So what do you expect? What next for Arsenal and Shakhtar Donetsk and Mikhail Modric? I think, and this is my personal uh, opinion, that Shakhtar Donetsk uh, is looking for Arsenal to increase some money and Arsenal I think my increase to around 70 to 75 million pounds uh, just to surpass the fee they paid for Nicolas Pepe when he joined uh, from Lille uh, just uh, three years ago. However, Shakhtar Donetsk may also be uh, inviting a bidding war uh, because uh, according to the talent which we see in Mikhail Modric, uh, bigger clubs like PSG, Bayern Munich, and uh, Barcelona, teams like Real Madrid may come for him. Uh, though he is a, a little bit committed to joining Arsenal, but anything can happen in, the, in this window. And you may see Mikhail Modric. Maybe, maybe, but so far so good. He has been so committed to joining Arsenal. So uh, they can hold him on until the summer, of which Arsenal is trying to fight hard uh, to see that this deal uh, is concluded in January. But we also know that Arsenal has had a record of uh, buying players at the last moment. You remember Thomas Pate, he also came in as a surprise buy there. He came in at the last moment. And so many players, uh, even Mikel Ateta himself, he came on the deadline day. So uh, that's how Arsenal always does their business reach. So let me get your thoughts through the inbox and through the comment box. And we we'll see what you think about this deal, how you think Arsenal should handle this deal should Arsenal pay around the 88 million pounds? That's around 100 million euros. And is Modric worth it? Which I think uh, Modric is worth it around 70 to 75 million pounds, which can Arsenal uh, pay at the moment? Thank you.